Hi, my name is Marie Kenny, and I'm a 4-H agent, and I'm here to talk to y'all about the record book keeping system. Now, for those who've done the record book keeping system in the past, don't just blow this off and think that you don't need to know anything, because there has been a whole new change to the way we keep records for 4-H nowadays. So, what you first need to know are two websites. You can go to www.4hreports.com or to the Texas 4-H website and look at all the forms that they have available. Know that the forms are now age appropriate. They are not going to be the same forms for juniors, inter intermediates, or seniors. You will have to have different forms for juniors, intermediates, and then the seniors. Seniors, the forms are going to be very similar to the way they were done in the past, but with a few changes. Um, intermediates, you're going to be able to oh, cut. Okay. Okay. More record book. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. Juniors, whenever you start making a record book, you are going to be judged on one current at project or activity for that year. Intermediates, you will be judged on one project, but you will be judged for two years. Now, if you have other activities, those can be listed in other areas for the record book reporting. Please look at those websites to review all forms to know where each and all of your information will go. Now, all of the information can be found, like I said, at www.4hreports.com or the Texas 4-H website. Please refer to these and print all forms. All forms must be the new forms when you complete them. You will still print them out and hand it in as a hard copy when judged. So please call your extension agent in your local county and get all the information and go to the websites.